Funny. Gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. It's <laughs> fight time, baby. You ready, George? We're ready. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Welcome to the official press conference for a World Boxing Super Series semi-final that has all the makings of being a true classic. Uh, welcome to all those in London here with us and to all those joining us live on the ITV Box Office YouTube channel and Facebook page. We have on the top table then, Shane McGuigan, trainer to George Groves. George Groves, Calla Sauerland, Roberto Del Miglio, Chris Eubank, Jr., Chris Eubank, Sr., and Ronnie Davis. So, on Saturday, February the 17th, at the Manchester Arena, George Groves faces Chris Eubank, Jr., live on ITV box office pay-per-view. At stake, a place in the final of the World Boxing Super Series, and the right to fight for the Muhammad Ali Trophy. Also on the line, the WBA Super World title, which George Groves defended for the first time last month, so impressively, stopping the previously unbeaten Jamie Cox in four rounds at Wembley. A week earlier, Chris Eubank Jr. excelled in his World Boxing Super Series quarterfinal as he knocked out Avni Yildirim in Stuttgart in only three rounds. It's a fight that's been eagerly anticipated since the draw in May. It's the sort of fight that this competition's format has made possible. And the Chief Boxing Officer of the World Boxing Super Series is Kalis Auerland. Good afternoon. Um, amazing. Thank you for a wonderful turnout. Um, this is a special fight. It's a fight that when we saw the original eight in the lineup was ready a mouth-watering dream in the distance. On February the 17th, in a sold-out Manchester arena, the Battle of Britain will commence. And Groves versus Eubank is a fight, I think, that surpasses the boundaries of the standard boxing fight, boxing super fight. We hear these, these terms the whole time. Um, this really is a mega fight. It's a, it's a fight which I think will have a, an enthralling build-up um, two unbelievable athletes, um, two unbelievable characters, great characters for the sport, and uh, a storyline which has been written by the tournament. It came alight in Stuttgart in the, in the uh, let's say, the, the hot atmosphere of a hot fight week, uh, a, sublime, a sublime performance by Chris Eubank Jr. And a week later, at Wembley in a British derby for the world title, the WBA Super Championship, George Groves took care of a very talented challenger in Jamie Cox. It set up what we all now know, this sold out this morning in a matter of, of minutes, um, a fight that I'm looking forward to as a promoter, a fan, um, but I think the whole country will look forward to and I think it is the super middleweight fight to make at this moment, inside the tournament or outside the tournament. But what the tournament does do, it's set out to deliver these fights on a regular basis, and it's great to see that that happening. Joins me on my left by the CEO of Camosa, the organizers of the World Boxing Super Series. And uh, Roberto, maybe you can say a little bit about how the brand has proceeded and, and what this means for the World Boxing Super Series to be on, on, on such, a, such a pedestal, on such a showcase with, with such a huge event uh, to kick off the, the boxing year in, in the UK in, in 2018. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, well, this is a little bit the, the answer to you, Kale. I mean, uh, it is true that already in the semi-final, the brand achieved a lot. Uh, the fans are following us in a tremendous way. But honestly, today we are here presenting, and we're only talking about semi-final level. I mean, it is undisputable. This is, this is going to be one of the best sporting events in UK for the 2018. Um, tremendous achievement. Uh, we are here again to say one thing. We wanted to have this fight, and I repeat, we're only talking about the semi-final in the biggest arena possible. Um, the News Khaled just uh, gave you, it is a sold out already in Manchester, something that probably lasted for something like one hour, not even, 38 minutes, I was told, but our ticket division, they're all very, very, very excited. Um, 
what we are talking about here is something that has to be delivered to the fans in the biggest possible way. Um, I would like to thank everybody of you to be here today, <coughs> national and international media. Um, undisputably, this is one of the best events that we could have presented within the tournament. Thank you. Kala and Roberto, thank you very much. So a word with a, a, word with a few of those here uh, on the top table. First of all, George, if you can take first your... Me, yeah. okay. Yes, first of all, you. Um, where do you place this in terms of the recent challenges, and you've had some big ones, uh, that you've faced in your career? Um, well, thanks, everyone, for coming. Great turnout. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the hype behind this fight um, will be huge, you know. Um, I hope that the build-up justifies the attention it's got so far, and I hope the fight in the end does the same as well, because um, on paper, this has probably been built as a 50-50, maybe even uh, Eubank Jr. Uh, being a, a favourite, but um, I don't really understand that. I think um, the, uh, the form, you know, the history, um, the experience, the ability all lie in my favour. Um, I'm looking forward to a, a big night, um, but it's the semi-finals of, of a tournament that I plan to win, so it's just a, an, another step, another fight along the way. Um, we're, already, we're already training for it, we've got the date, we're looking forward to it, and um, we're in a fantastic place, so we, uh, we can't wait. You said that uh, Chris Eubank Jr. is going to have to make a lot of changes to the way he fights to compete with you. Yeah, well, a lot of changes in general. I mean, um, Junior wraps his own hands, I believe, stuff like that, you know. Um, he maybe puts on the facade that he can do it all himself. Um, I can. He is a sort of a one-man band, but it's much, it is very difficult doing stuff on your own. We'll see if he, if he, if he stays uh, like that or if he starts to conform and, and change and adapt and, uh, you know, Make, 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 make changes, which I, I'm sure he will and, and certainly will have to do. If he doesn't, he makes it even easier for me, but um, he, he will, which is you know, just a, a credit to me, I suppose, you know, that uh, obviously this is his first real fight, big fight, definitely a, a super middleweight. Um, he's uh, he's going to fall short in a lot of categories, a lot of, a lot of things, and um, that just makes me excited to have this fight. Chris, that, that's a fair point, isn't it? This is your first really big fight? I've had many big fights. Uh, this is probably the, the biggest fight in terms of uh, profile, in terms of, um, you know, this tournament, the hype. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, I rise to the occasion always. The bigger the fight, the better I perform. And... Um, you know, George seems to be <clears throat> focused or hung up on what I'm going to do and, you know, how I'm going to change and conform and all these things. Uh, you know, he really needs to worry about himself because, you know, thinking about what I'm going to do isn't going to get him anywhere. Um, you know, I'm going to do exactly what I've been doing my entire career, which is, uh, you know, following my intuition um, finding a way to overcome any and all obstacles. Uh, I, read, um, I read a statement the other day. George said that uh, if he fights the same or if he boxes the same as he boxes against Jamie Cox in his last fight, then um, you know, he'll have no problem beating me. Um, you know, that statement started with an if. Uh, that means that there is, you know, a possibility of him not being able to do that. Um, you know, there are, there are no ifs and buts where I'm concerned. Uh, it doesn't matter if, if my game plan goes completely out of the window. I will find a way to stop George Groves. He's, you know, there's just no chance in hell that he's going to take this away from me. Um, I'm a man of my word. And George, you will not see the 12th round. You've also said, Chris, I think, that, uh, that, that there's one fighter on an upward curve, uh, I presume you mean yourself, and, and another maybe on a downward curve. What do you mean by that? 
Uh, George isn't on a downward curve. He's, you know, he's won his last couple fights. He's a world champion. Um, but this is my time. You know, I'm I'm a different animal to uh, to what I was. You know, two years ago, a year ago. Uh, George is the same guy, and uh, you know, I know what I've done. <clears throat> I know what's happened in the past in terms of sparring with George and uh, you know training together. Uh, I felt what he has as a fighter, as a man. Um, I know what he's capable of. I know what he isn't capable of. I know his weaknesses. I know his strengths. Um, and nothing he has can outweigh the fire and the heat that is going to be brought down upon him. George. The fire and the heat that is going to be brought down upon you. Um, yeah, well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> we'll see. I, you know, <clears throat> I like Junior's attitude. You know, I used to like it when he was my sparring partner. I used to pay him to come in. We used to do rounds, and he wouldn't talk to anyone, which was, you know, I, I liked that about him. He used to come in, put his um, put his Vaseline on in the corner, warm up, and give you good work. You know, it was exactly what I needed at the time. Um, he's terrific for a soundbite, you know, he, he gives you those, those short piece statements, he's, those things work for him, it's made him, you know, insta famous, you know, but we'll, um, it's, 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 this is different, you know, like I used to hear people talk about levels and it used to frustrate me a little bit at the start, you know, uh, in the start of your career and you hear people talking about levels, my mate James, the guy used to use it a lot and I never really understood it, but Sort of, I have come full circle, and, and I do understand that you know. Sometimes it doesn't matter how well you prepare, or you know how many things go in your favour. That you, you, there's people you just can't beat, and um, so I'm sorry to say for Junior that he's uh, he's not good enough. You know, he doesn't have the pedigree, he doesn't have the ability. He can get as fit as he wants. I mean, he stays he stays in good shape all year round, but. You know, most legitimate athletes don't do that. You know, you have to, uh, you, you peak, especially fighters, because we don't fight every week. We, 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 are, we are set a date and we prepare for it, you know. Um, and that is what I will do. And on the night, I believe I'm unstoppable, certainly in the super middleweight division, you know. Um, whether he's on an upward curve or not, he's on a, 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 you know, a steady marginal incline you know um, I'm at the very top and I'm still improving I'm still going from strength to strength um, I say this is another stop along the way in winning this tournament um, we knew the Eubank fight was coming you know uh, I, I, I begged Khaled to put to, 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 uh, to put him seeded so that uh, I would face him in the semis you know I knew it would be an exciting fight for the tournament uh, an exciting fight for me um, it's what, it's, it's what, I, what I want, what I've always intended. So um, we're in, a, as I say, we're in a, a f fantastic place. You know, I'm in terrific form. I've been in real fights, big fights, hard fights. I've got you know, experience to rival any current fighter right now. And um, as I say, this is nothing more than a, uh, a stepping stone. We're going to approach the fight properly. We know, again, like Chris says, I know what he does well. I know what you don't do so well. Uh, I know uh, what I need to do to beat him. You know, he's um, he's clever. I know he, him and 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 the dad will um, research. They'll be well rehearsed. You know, he's picked up on an if. I might uh, explain the if is that if I box the way I beat Cox, I might box a different way. I can box many different ways to beat you. And um, but you know, getting rid of Cox inside, you know, four or five rounds works well. Maybe that'll be more of the same this time round. So we we'll have to wait and see. Again, soundbite that I've been using a long time is he won't hear the, the final bell. He won't go 12 rounds. So uh, we both we both stamped our flag in the ground and, and uh, made that statement. So. We talked about a, a fight for the ages. Chris Eubank Sr., you were involved in many of those. Um, George says that your son won't have the pedigree for a night that will be a fight for the ages. That is hurtful. It is hurtful. Pedigree. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I wasn't going to talk. Pedigree. Ah. <laughs> Pedigree? Please. <laughs> I mean, look at the way he has come. Look at the way he's come up. Look at the ease in which he dispatched of uh, Arthur Abraham. 
look at the uh, the extraordinary way in which he dismantled uh, the uh, the powerful Avni Yildirim. Pedigree. This is pedigree. Uh, I would like to say mother, but I, but I'm not going to. <laughs> this is pedigree, and I have nothing more to add. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Shane, you've worked with George over the last couple of years and obviously been part of George's rebirth in many ways. He's, he's talked about that. What sort of fight do you anticipate? What have you seen in Chris Eubank Jr., having analysed him? I know you'll have done a bit of that already. Uh, so what sort of fight do you expect? Well, it's, um, it's going to be a hard fight for both parties. Um, it's a throwback. You know, you, you look at the era that Senior was involved in, he had a lot of great rivalries in Britain, and I feel like that super middleweight division now is is gone full circle, and now we've got that. Um, and luckily, we're in a tournament that we can just you're, you're signed in and you face each other. So it's going to be a very hard fight. It's going to be one that we've already started preparing for. Um, but I have full faith in George Groves to to get the victory and look spectacular doing so. And I feel like you know. He is, once you're in there with him, everyone jumps out and says, oh, he's a lot faster than I thought he was. He's got much better time than, than, you know, than I was expecting. And he punches very, very hot. So um, it's the first time that Junior has stepped up to, to fight a, a guy who's got speed at super middleweight. Everyone else has been slow walking in on him. And I feel like George doesn't do that. He sets traps and he makes you pay for them. So it's going to be a very interesting fight, a very hard fight, as I said, for both parties, but one that we're going to prepare diligently for. Speed in terms of what? I, I don't know what speed we're talking about. I haven't seen, I haven't seen any speed. <coughs> He's not a combination puncher. He doesn't, throw pun he doesn't throw punches in bunches. George is, you know, he's, he's a counter puncher. Um, you know, speed, speed is what I do. I can hit a man uh, you know, six, seven, eight times. When they're standing still, in like a, a bag, you mean, yeah? George. Because that's what I say, you're insta famous, brother. You you in, are fantastic. In, in, insta famous, the has fantastic to do with my short clips ability. on the bag, maybe on the pads, on the body bag. You know, I mean, they, they look great, you I, know? I hit Avni Yildrum with about eight punches within two seconds. He stood still like a bag. Like. You're, you're going to stand still too. Okay, well, we'll see. You're, you're, you know, you're young, but you're an old man in the game. You're uh, you're not the fighter you used to be, and no, when, I'm better. when 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 the going gets tough, you're gonna you, sing now. You plant your feet. <laughs> you, you plant your feet, and you swing. You don't move, so you will stand still. You will be there for me to tee off on you, and I'm gonna catch you. Ah oh, man, you know, do you know what? I hope you do. You know, I really hope you do because, to your credit, you punched from the ankles from the get go. You know, and. You talk about stamina and hand speed and all these things that you know um, people use to your defence, but you know, we're, you know, boxers at the highest level have a knowing eye. When we're, we're not, um, you know, we're, we're, we see what it is. We can see when when there's something behind the punches. We can see when you're leaving openings behind the punches. We see when you need to go for a breather and you disguise it well. But you know, as I say, when you watch me, maybe. Um, I don't do myself justice. Maybe I don't look as quick as I actually am. Maybe my timing don't look as good as it actually is. And maybe my punch power is, you know, underrated. But um, no, that's the only thing you do have. That's the only thing that people give you credit for is the fact that you can hit. Yeah, I wouldn't. That, that's way down on my list of my attributes. My Aside favorite. from that, you're 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 pretty average. You don't have that much speed. Your your defense is poor, and your stamina, in my opinion, is you know average at best. Uh, and those attributes, uh, you know, the fact that you're lacking in those in those parts of boxing means you can't compete with me. Oops. And that's why you you just said earlier that I may be. The Do you know favorite. what? You're right. If we both got on the bag, you would absolutely annihilate me because you would be able to hit that bag. Yes, I would. Much more than I possibly could. Yes, I would. But. You're not fighting a bag. No, we're not fighting, fighting a, a bag. We're not fighting a bag. We see, see how fresh you are. We're, we're fighting when you're real. Missing. We're fighting real people, and real you people need to go learn to how sleep. To set up a shot. You need real to people learn go how to, to get sleep. Into range to let your shots go. Real people go to sleep, 
and you have and and you and once that button's pushed on you, you do go to sleep. I did. I went to sleep, my friend. I, in front I've, of eighty thousand people, I've, it was I've, hard I've to never, swallow at I've the time. never been put to sleep, and I've been hit with big shots uh, in fights and sparring. You know, I get a little flash of white if I get tagged, and then I'm right back there. My legs don't wobble. I don't go to the floor. You, you crumble, and I'm going to catch you. What, 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 what Frotch did to you, that took something out of you. I see it in your eyes. Maybe it did at I the time. I see it in your performances. Maybe it did at the time. But I've been on a fantastic rebuilding phase, my friend. Like, since, like, since I've been working with Shane McGuigan next to me, Shane, Shane you have seen you. the improvements. If, and if you're, I know if you're counting on Shane to help you get through this, you're in, you're in, you're in deep trouble. I am using Shane. Shane's, Shane's, Shane's been kid, fantastic Shane's for me. A kid He's a great in the game. coach. Ch it's Shane great is, to have, finally a have a good in coach in my corner, you know? A great, a great coach gives me the right instructions at the right time, prepares me correctly for every fight. And I come into every fight with the utmost confidence in myself and in my team. You know, I've had fights where I haven't had confidence in my team. And they're the ones where I haven't really performed. But when I do have confidence in my team, and they are a fantastic team, you do need a team, you know, let's, let's, let's get it straight, you know. Um, when I left Adam Booth, who was a very good coach, I spent a long time trying to prove to people, people who would, shouldn't mean anything to me, that I could do it alone, you know. But the truth is, you do need to share the burden of preparing for a big fight. Because if the guy opposite you has a good team, then you're at a disadvantage, you know. I've got a fantastic team, a great coach who knows how to prepare me correctly. And since we've been working together, every fight we've improved. And we're improving in the gym, you know. Can I, can I, I thought you weren't going to talk, but I'm glad you are. Come on. I, I, have, to, I have to at this point because um, in my career, the reason why I was um, like I was, Ronnie left me alone. Junior is left alone. I don't really train him. Ronnie doesn't really train him. He does it. It's actually inside him. I believe that, you know. Okay, I, I, and so, I, 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 I and, think that's and, evident, yeah. It's evident. Mm. That's okay. right. Okay. I don't, I don't need, him. I don't count on I'm a team to give me, uh, you know, that, well, that's one of the reasons me, why you were Give me the sure. arrogance and, the, and, the, uh, and the, the confidence to go into a fight and, and put on the performances I do. You seem to rely on your team. Your team is not going to be there taking those punches, George. No, I, I don't rely on my team to take the punches, but I rely on them to give me the right instructions and prepare me for the fight. I don't, need, do, I don't do. need instructions to beat you, George. I know, I know what you are. It doesn't matter okay. what my father okay. says. So, it doesn't matter great. what Ronnie Absolutely. Davis says. You're, okay. you're not seeing the 12th round. Whatever instructions you get in that ring, they're not going to help you. They're not going to save you from what's coming. Just a word with Senior. Senior, you've been obviously in, in huge fights, British uh, international fights, the fights that have captured the world's imagination. And obviously this is going to be one of those fights for all the preparation that the guys have talked about, but what is the one sort of mental key that you need if you are going to succeed on a, on a, on a night like this, in a fight like this? What is going to be crucial that your son has, do you think, that's going to make the difference it mentally called, to him? It is called an internal navigation system. Internal. That's called parenting. He hasn't been trained by PE teachers. No disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what most trainers are. <laughs> okay? He has been guided. I haven't trained him. He can't be trained. He needs to be left alone. Okay, so what he has is an internal navigation system. And all I can do is um, try to harness when he is doing too much to his opponents. All I can do is try and harness him, which is what you, the public, the press, the media, the boxing fans, have seen in the past. I'm trying to actually harness, because this is, for me, by far the most dangerous fighter on the planet. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. You. George, just on that, uh, maybe Chris... Uh, Eubank Senior didn't quite answer my question, but you've been in obviously at the highest level in terms of uh, world level fights. So what is key mentally uh, for a fighter coming through this sort of challenge? Because you've referred to the fact that maybe Junior has not been at this level of fight yet. Yeah, uh, Junior hasn't. He hasn't. And um, for me, I can imagine this has you know, been his dream. 
because uh, he's been craving the big fights, you know, but without actually wanting to have a real fight, you know. So he attaches his name to big fighters and they sort of, it always falls through and he boxes at a much lower level. Obviously being part of this tournament now, um, there was a lot of talk that he might pull out, but I don't think he is. He's here, he's excited, he's, you know, he's looking forward to it. This is a big fight. Everyone's excited, it's sold out already. So um, it's a pivotal point in Junior's relationship with the dad, you know, with his dad, because... Um, don't worry about my relationship with my dad. That's got nothing to do you know, with the fight. Pivotal, uh, worry about what you're going to do to try and survive the beating that's coming It's a pivotal way. point, because, I mean, as I say, so far, the dad has alleviated a lot of pressure You're worrying from about my the dad. son my dad is because not me. he's desperate for my the attention. My dad is not the guy that's going to be throwing them uppercuts, catching you on your chin and watching you fall to the ground and crumble. You're going to get groves. It's a groves. pivotal point between Chris He's, he's in Jr. for a groves in. That's what happened dad. when uh, when, when Carl Froch knocked him out. People said that oh, he, he got groves because his, his leg folded and he's on the floor. That's exactly what's going to happen in this fight. You're in for a groves It's a pivotal in. point between the relationship between the father and son because so far You're in so much he's trouble. done him a massive favor inadvertently by being addicted to the attention like addicted <clears throat> to the you know talking talking about himself but now all of a sudden people actually bought into it they believe that junior is is the real deal they think he's legit now he's got to have to step up and prove it. Has he outgrown his father? That's what I want to know. Has he, has he outgrown the dad? So you because don't think I'm legit? Dad, well, we don't know yet, because you haven't boxed at the highest level. Okay, so how about I release the, the, the sparring footage I have of me and you? Then release what you like, my friend. You, I've got the sparring footage, release what you want. Okay. I'll bet you can get together some fantastic 10 second Insta clips. I, I, I'll, I'll, show the, I'll show the whole 8, 9, 10 rounds we used to do. Show the whole lot, you know, show the whole lot. You um, know I'm legit, so don't sit here in this press conference trying to act like, you know, I'm, I'm some... I'm some, you know, stepping I stone. I'm a mountain. I really like to talk about I'm, I'm Mount Everest, and you ain't gonna climb me. Trust me. What? Sorry. You calling me a stepping stone? I'm not a stepping stone. I'm a mountain, and you are not going to climb it. Well, the language is dangerous. It. It's, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. We will open it up to questions from the floor, please. Many of the people who fancy Eubank Jr. inspired simply based on the logic of these younger, fresher, and you were sort of, you alluded to the fact that you perhaps feel you're a better, you've ever been, and you can. Do you feel that way? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, I, I don't, I don't say things for the sake of saying them. I tell the truth. Um, better than ever. You know, I understand my body better than ever. I understand what I do well, what I don't do so well, and what I need to do to get myself in shape. You know, since working with Shane McGuigan. Like, the difference has been night and day, you know. It's a guy who, who understands me, who understands how to get the very best out of me, and it's someone who I can relax with because I can, I can rely on him, you know. I have full confidence in him to get me where, to the place I need to be for every fight to, uh, and to give me the right instruction during the fight, you know. And, and that is a massive, massive, massive advantage to have because, you know, Previous fights, previous world title fights before Shane, I didn't have that. I didn't have that. And at times it had cost me, you know. Um, Listen to the language. I have full confidence in Shane McGuigan that he will get me where I need to be. Don't do that. That's embarrassing. Don't do that. That's embarrassing. You're a world champion and, and, you're, and you're, giving, you're giving a guy you've been with for a couple of fights the, you know, the credit of preparing you to fight this. Hmm. To you're get me to where I want to be, he's obviously on fight night. But what, why, why would I not? Why would I not give him credit? Because that's what he does. Like I couldn't, I couldn't be in better condition on my own. If you need Shane McGuigan to help you get into condition to fight me, you're in serious trouble, my and, friend. And that's what I've been saying. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, I wouldn't you talk about fighting. yourself that badly, Chris. So the flip side of that, Chris, do you honestly believe it wouldn't make a difference who trained you? Just to be in the No one's training him. He's I, training him. He's completely self-trained and he just has a bit of support from this. It's not. It's not. It's not support. It's. It's. You know the 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 parent and the trainer. You know we're knocking him into positions. He's saying no. I want to go this way. He's a stallion, so he's his own. He's his own person. All we're doing is just keeping him on track because he wants to run wild. And again, if I don't mm. harness him, you know this young man and George Groves is he's in danger. And again. 
You've heard it before, and you're hearing it again, and now you'll watch and see. Chris Eubank is a superstar. No one's asked me that yet, so I'm pleased. He's a superstar, believe me, and you will find out. George, immense credit to you, showing good grass respect, but this is fight night. Um, Eubank, too, too young, too fresh, too high. He's phenomenal. I've seen him beat up heavyweights, cruiserweights. He spars it. He spars He can do everything. And if people knock me and his father, he, he don't need to be. He's there. He knows what to do. He knows more than the trainers. He's brilliant. The kid, you can't show him nothing. He's got more moves than Pickford's the furniture people, right? The kid's exceptional. He's got power, stamina. He throws 25, 30 punches. He's not even breathing heavy. Watch it. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, again, this is no disrespect to Shane. Shane, he wasn't a professional. He doesn't know about... He doesn't know what it feels like to be in there, that hat. When, you know, the, he, you know George comes back to the, to the corner in the first round. Shane doesn't know how that feels. I know how it feels. Oh, most certainly. Yeah, but, you know, I'm here now. Okay, and I exist. I'm here. I'm real. I'm talking. Okay, and I've got a view. Okay, and this view is real. How do I know? Uh, I took the beatings. I did the winnings. Uh, I lost with my head up high. You know, I triumphed. Okay, there's been disaster in my career. All of these things have been used to shield this young man here. I'm going to say something controversial. He has been no slave in this boxing world. One of the only ones. So I'm grateful for what they put me through. Those promoters, I am grateful to you. He will now actually uh, uh, enjoy the benefits of my wonderful experiences. I have some great stories, great stories because of these experiences. Uh, please. <coughs> Gentlemen, or shall I carry on talking? <laughs> no, please, uh, carry on. <laughs> Any more questions, please? Yeah. Uh, Chris, you're supremely confident about this. We can see that from what you're talking about today. Um, but do you think this is the hardest fight you've had in your career to date? Or do you think from the sparring footage that you have that this has, actually is easier for you than other fights that you've had in your career? All, all, all fights are tough. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say George Rose is going to be the toughest fight because I'm, I'm training to knock this guy out. Um, they're all tough. It all, it, they all take hard work, sacrifice, uh, and, and, and dedication to, uh, to, to, uh, to prepare for and to, and to go into a ring and contest yourself against another man. Um, but I will say it is the biggest fight of my career. And because of that, that, that alone makes me confident because I, I know I can't afford to lose. George has lost in this level before. Uh, that means he has the mindset he knows how to lose he, know, he knows how to, to fail at this level um, and, and that will that will transfer over in the ring when he's getting hit with those big shots yeah okay I'm, I'm, I'm back here again when I get, if I get hit with a shot I don't know how to give up I don't, know, I don't, I don't know how to get I don't know how to get knocked out Chris, I, I, don't, I, I don't know how to get knocked out so when I get hit with a shot, if I get hit by a shot, I'm going to keep coming. Nothing is going to stop me from finding a way to take this guy out. And on the flip side, George, the Chudinov fight was fantastic. Um, the Jamie Cox fight was fantastic. Where do you rate Chris between Jamie and Fedor? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a tougher test than, than uh, Cox. Probably not as tough as Chudinov. Um, Come on, George. Let's 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 hey, not try and, Chunov, let's not try and hey, fool these guys decent, here. You know, he was a tough guy. It took a lot to these get rid of These guys know their boxing. Let's not try and you know pull any pull any straight we, here. We don't know enough about you, man. You you, you we know don't know exactly. enough about you. Who's so we? Don't worry about we. we worry about you. Collectively, about everyone in the room. We you don't know, know anyone. You know what I'm about, and they know what I'm about. So let's just keep the talk straight here, okay? Don't talk to me about oh, uh, uh, okay, I'll choose. Okay, I speak for myself. I personally don't know. Don't know because he hasn't boxed at that level yet, you know. Um, you know, he says I, I've learned to lose at, um, 
at world level. I've lost a couple at world level, you know. Um, he's lost at a lower level. But we won't you know, dwell on that because um, it's irrelevant, you know, it's irrelevant. Um, he's, I don't know, what he's relying on, whether he thinks he's going to have a bit, of, a bit of success and that I'm going to crumble. You know, I don't do that. I never have done. I got knocked out, but I didn't see a shot coming. And if I could have got up, I would have. I tried to, you know. I didn't learn to get knocked out. There's no quit in me. You know, uh, so um, I say what Chris is a middleweight. You know, he's a middleweight. Junior is a middleweight, and, and that's the, what I'm makes a fully fledged all, super so middleweight. So much more special because I, he's right. I'm not. I'm not naturally a super middleweight. All these guys, he is much bigger than me. He probably walks around what like 14 stones. You know, I walk around 12 stones. I walk around at the super middleweight limit, but I'm still able to come in here and take these guys out. That says a lot. Even the light heavyweights are going to be in trouble if he decides to move up one day. Any more questions? No oh, one. Well, must be some more. Boys. Big fight. A question for um, Shane and Ronnie Davis. A question for uh, both Shane and, and Ronnie. Um, we've heard from the Eubank side that they're kind of holding back. They're just staring him. What are you going to bring to the table to secure victory for George Groves? And I'd like to same thing for Ronnie Davis. What will you bring to the table that's going to secure, secure the victory? I'm glad that you acknowledged Ronnie as the coach because um, he was the guy that was opening the doors when senior didn't really want to know. You know? Um, I'm not going to do anything. To, it just they're, they're completely correct. You know, he... He is his own man. He's his own. He's the he's the fight. He goes in there. He fights. I don't bring much to the table. We can work on some game plans, and he can execute them. That's as much as a coach can do. And if they've got confidence in the game plan, if they've got confidence in the instructions in the in the corner, if they've got confidence in how they can prepare themselves, get themselves in peak condition, not peak too early, not 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 peak, and then you know that that gives George that little extra confidence. So um, that's all I bring to the table. And the same question to you, uh, Mr. Davis. What do you bring to the... the I'll just do my job, which I've always done from day one. I step back. I let him do his own thing. He knows what to do. I've been good spying him for him. I watch him all the time. I make sure he's got no hats on outside the ring. He's in good hands. He's his own man, which is great. Same as his father. I don't think me and the old man are the same, same thing, me and Chris. I don't think you've done too bad, the pair of us on that, but a great partnership, all those fights, all those wins, is that the same I do with the son? It works. So Ronnie, if things were to get, not saying they are going to, but if things were to get a bit strenuous in there, would you give him a slap like what you used to do to no, Chris Senior? He, didn't, he wouldn't like that. <laughs> he knows what to do, he won't get to that. Yeah. He won't get to that. No disrespect, George, he won't get to that. Too young, too fast, too hard. He's phenomenal. He, 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 he could step up now at 12 stone. I mean, the light heavyweight limit's only 12.6, isn't it? 12.7, 12.6? Sorry? 12.7. 12.7. He could step up now and beat them all. I've seen him do it. I know he's a freak. I see him, I'm with the man seven days a week as I was his father. I know his father inside out. That's why he put me in charge of his son. I know the kid inside out. He's exactly the same as the old man. In my, in my opinion, Chris Eubank should have retired undefeated, his father, but he didn't, but he should have done, he could have done. He's the same. Different class, different level to most. I've never seen, I've never seen anyone like this in all my life apart from his father. Any more questions? Uh, uh, just, just that, that actually means that pedigree is alive and well. Okay, we'll have one-on-one -on -one interviews and a, a photo opportunity as well. A last word, perhaps, though, from uh, Roberto and from Calla, please, just uh, to set the scene as we go forward, please, gentlemen. I don't think it's a space for me to say much after all that. I think it's, uh, it's terrific to sit up here and hear all these boxing minds speaking as a promoter. I think my job was redundant today. Thank you very much. Look forward to Manchester. Thank you.